Hello kids, Reggie Rue here. What's like a motorbike, but has four wheels like a car? A quad bike. Farmers often use quad bikes. They're great for getting to places where cars don't go. Along a dusty road goes the farmer on his quad bike. Quad bikes are also called all-terrain vehicles or ATVs. This is because they can go almost anywhere, like over this creek and down the steep dirt track. The operators always make sure to wear a helmet. Here are a group of ATVs. They kick up a lot of dust, don't they? This farmer used his red quad bike so he can fix the farm's fence. It's a long way from the road. Lucky he has a quad bike to get there. Quad bikes can also be used to have some fun. Onto the sand dunes they ride. And into the air. Woohoo! Watch out! Here they come! Whoosh! They look like they're having a great time. Hooroo! Hi, boys and girls. Reggie Roo here. What is a boat? that has an engine. A motorboat has an engine. A motorboat is also called a speedboat or a powerboat. The engine of a motorboat powers the propeller which spins around and drives the boat forward. Some speedboats can go very fast, like this racing speedboat. On this boat, the engine is an outboard motor. The rudder steers the boat left and right. It is controlled by the captain of the boat. Can you see the captain is carefully steering the boat? Isn't that impressive? The boat rocks and rolls with the bumps on the sea. Motorboats can be used for lots of things. They're great for fishing. or perhaps to take someone water skiing or wakeboarding. Motorboats can come in all sizes. Some mega yachts are so big that they can cross oceans. That would be an adventure. Hooroo! Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. There is one machine that you probably see every day. It's a car. A car has a big engine, doors, a body, and four wheels with rubber tires. Inside, there are seats with seat belts to keep everyone safe. And the steering wheel for the driver controls where the car goes. Did you know? There are lots of different types of cars. There are electric cars that run on electricity instead of petrol. Look, it plugs in, just like a toaster at home. There are small, compact cars with hatchbacks. Sedans are bigger and have a boot. Station wagons are similar, but with extra room at the back. There are four-wheel drives that are great for going off-road. That looks like fun. Sports cars are fast. And vans are strong, but slow. There are yellow taxis and black cabs if you need a lift. 
cars come in lots of colors. There are blue cars, white cars, yellow cars, and even green cars. Cars really do come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. Hooroo! Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. Are there planes that can fly without propellers? Yes, they have powerful jet engines. You may have seen an airplane with jet engines before. Most passenger planes have large jet engines and so do super fast, loud, aerobatic jet fighter planes. Look at it spin. Here are some blue and yellow jets taxiing on a runway. One, two, three, four. Blue and yellow jet airplanes. These jets are F-18 Navy jets. Can you see their powerful jets at the back? And take off! They fly with great precision. This is called flying in formation. Aren't they impressive? For extra speed, this jet is dumping fuel from the jet engine creating a huge flame called an afterburner. Some jets, like this Harrier jump jet, can take off and land vertically, just like a helicopter. Wow, aren't jets great? Would you like to pilot a fast jet airplane one day? Hooroo! G'day, Reggie Roo here. What has two wheels and a loud engine? A motorcycle. Here is a silver motorcycle. And here is a motorcycle rider. He puts his helmet on, making sure it's fastened tight. Hi, Mick. Today, he's taking his motorcycle out for a ride. The keys go in the ignition, and he starts the motorcycle. Vroom, vroom, goes the bike as he revs the engine. Mick is also wearing a protective black leather jacket and big boots. And down the street he goes. Along the bridge. And over the river. Motorcycles have two wheels and handlebars at the front for steering. Have you seen a motorcycle before? Here comes Mick back from his ride. Hello. He pulls the motorcycle into the parking space, slowly reversing up to the curb ready for his next ride. Bye, Mick. And bye, kids. Hooroo. Hello, kids. Reggie Roo here. You are in for a treat today. Have you ever seen a space shuttle? There's the shuttle on the launch pad. It's about to launch, 
Everyone at Mission Control is ready. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lift off. blasts out of the engine and the smoke billows out as the shuttle powers into the sky. The shuttle is made up of a large orange fuel tank, two thin white rocket boosters, and the part that looks like a plane is called an orbiter. Soon after, the two white boosters drop off and fall into the ocean. A special boat picks them up as the shuttle continues into space. The shuttle is used to carry astronauts and equipment to the International Space Station, which rotates high above the Earth below. Inside the space station, the astronauts conduct experiments as they float around. Later, they use the orbiter to get back down to Earth. Glides back like a plane. Speed now 320 miles per hour. Here's down and locked. Touchdown. The parachute at the back helps the orbiter slow down. Isn't that exciting? Would you like to be an astronaut and go into space? Yes, I would too. The astronauts are back, safely on the ground. Hooroo! Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. Have you seen a helicopter before? I have. And aren't they magnificent? Did you know? Helicopters have lots of funny nicknames. Chopper, Copter, Heli, or even Whirlybird. Here is a red Whirlybird in the snow. The rotor blades spin very fast. This lifts the Whirlybird into the air. From high in the air, you can see lots of wonderful sights. You can see the ocean, towns, cities with skyscrapers, helicopter pads, rivers, lakes, mountains. deserts, and animals. Helicopters are great for rescuing people in trouble. This is because, like a plane, they are fast. But they can also land almost anywhere. stadium perhaps, or a car park. The President of the United States of America has their own helicopter. It's a big green chopper called Marine One. Would you like to have your own helicopter too? Hooroo! Hello kids, Reggie Roo here. Today, we're looking at tractors. Where do you think you could find a tractor? That's correct, on a farm. Tractors are slow, but very strong.
they can be used for all sorts of jobs. Like hauling grain. Or plowing a field. Or perhaps even to move machinery. Tractors can also be used to spread dirt or manure around a field. Some tractors can be used for fun, like taking a joyride. Would you like to go on a tractor ride? There are small tractors that are good for wineries that can easily fit between the rows of grapes and really big tractors with large wheels. Tractors come in lots of colors. There are red tractors, blue tractors, yellow tractors, and there are green tractors with yellow wheels. What's your favorite color tractor? Hooroo! Hi boys and girls, Reggie Roo here. What is a machine that can go under the water? It's a submarine. A submarine is a watercraft, like a ship, that can operate underneath the waves. They're used in the Navy and for undersea exploration, research, and salvage missions. Submarines can remain submerged for months on end. They generally have a tower. This holds the periscope, which the captain can use to see above the water. Isn't that clever? Submarines also have foreplanes and tailplanes for steering. Tanks, which can be used to make the sub go up and down. And a propeller to propel the submarine forward. This is powered by an engine. Some submarines can have over 100 people working on board. There are also tiny submarines that are called midget submarines. They can have a crew as small as one or two. Would you like to explore the deep ocean in a submarine? Wouldn't that be fun? Hooroo! To see more things that go, click on the videos above. And don't forget to subscribe.